Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivian and this is Vimos and Vice Ways. So guys, I'm so excited to shoot this video or to film this tutorial. So I'll be making this very beautiful and simple fascinator. It can be worn on its own or you can attach it with a toban just like I did in the video. Now we'll be needing a quinoline. Uh, I have one and a half yards of quinoline. Please, you can make yours two if you want like the quinoline to be fuller. You can make it two, two and a half or even three um, yards of quinoline. We have our straw, we have our Alice Balm, our USU gum as scissors, our wadding to cover up and our fabric to, to also, I uh, also have this fabric. This is a damask fabric. I'll be using this fabric to like wrap my, my Alice Balm. Okay. And now the inch, the, the length, I mean, the width is four inches. Okay. The width is four inches. I'm going to fold that into two. I'll take that to my sewing machine. I will sew it and I'm going to turn the right side out and I'll use it to cover up my Alice band. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So guys, at this point, I went ahead to wrap my Alice band. The length of the fabric I used is 33 inches and I had that in two places. Okay, so I wrapped, like I started from the edge of my Alice band and I wrapped to the middle and I closed that up. Then I also did the same for the other end of uh, Alice band. So that is exactly what you want to do. You make sure that like your fabric is in the middle you don't want your fabric like your gum showing at the edge of your alice band so you want to bring that in the middle okay now we'll go ahead and i'll pull my quinoline i'm going to pull my quinoline i'm the thread. i'm going to pull it and bring it at the middle of like i'll bring it in the middle and i'll go ahead and i'll secure 
my the edges of a queen lily. You want to secure that very well. And also you can make use of your candle gun to secure that. So I'll go ahead, I'll secure my queen olin and we'll continue from there. So guys, at this point, I have secured my quinoline and now it's time to attach it to our straw. Okay, so I just simply place that in the middle of our straw and I try to arrange it as you can see me doing in the video. I try to like arrange my quinoline so that it can sit properly on the, on the straw. Then I started sewing it with my fishing line. Yes, you want to use a fishing line to sew this okay please make use of your fishing line so i'll go ahead and i'm going to sew this neatly on my on my my straw yes i'll sew this on my straw and we'll get back So guys, I went ahead and I sewed it, the quinoline to my straw. Like I told us earlier, please make use of two or two and a half or even three yards of um, quinoline, okay? If you want yours fuller, okay? I made use of one point one and a half yards of quinoline and it is not that full. Please, if you want yours fuller, make use of two two and a half or even three yards of quinoline now i'm going to go ahead and i'll attach my alice band to it okay my wrapped alice band i'm also going to sew this down and i'll cover it up with my wording okay please ensure you're doing your work neatly and also at this point i'm going to say if you are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also turn on your bell notifications to be notified whenever I upload videos like this. And at this point, all I can say is see you all in my next video. Thank you all for watching and stay blessed.